you are at Rant Lake where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about, you can get one of these by being one of those. This one is for Languid Landscape Lad, who says, Rant about anime studios whose output mainly revolves around one director, often the core founder. And the non-main director output in said studio is either lower in both quality and popularity or almost non-existent. For example, Hiroyasu Ishida for Colorido, Masaaki Yuasa for Science Saru, Imaishi with Trigger, Miyazaki and Ghibli, other than 90s era Takahata, etc. Okay, so first I'm going to break down that Ghibli example because all of Takahata's work is good, so why only 90s era? Um, also, Ghibli has only really made like one bad movie, the Goro Miyazaki, Tales from the Earthsea, Whisper of the Heart is a beloved classic, um, you know, I personally loved Ocean Waves, even if I don't, you know, I haven't rewatched it in a while, so I'll, I'll hold my opinion on that, maybe. Um, I love the bar where Arietti and fucking, when Marnie was there, was great. So, don't be shitting on non-Miyazaki Ghibli's. Now, granted, most of them are not as popular, but I think that's just because of the name recognition of Hayao Miyazaki being the most famous anime director of all time. And it's not to say that I think any of those other movies necessarily live up to Miyazaki, um, but, you know, no shortage of them are fantastic movies, and obviously, again, Takahata, forget the 90s, what about 2013? That's one of the, you know, one of the more respected anime films as well. So anyways, when it comes to Trigger, it's really that Imaishi, like, I'm a huge fan of his personal style, and... I think that he very much continues on the torch from the, the guys who were the main directors of the, the Gainax shows that everyone remembers. You know, um, the Hideaki Anno, Kazuya Tsurumaki, the stuff from those guys. Gainax did plenty of other stuff throughout their whole existence that wasn't directed by them. And when it comes to Trigger, I think that Imaishi, you know, he's been around since Ava, he's carried the torch of that style. Um, anybody else from that studio who's come along with him is, you know, also working on his shows. So when you look at the stuff that's not being directed by him, it's mostly by either new or first-time directors. Like, Akira Amamiya has been around forever. He's been working on Imaishi's work since, you know, since the Gainax days. But SSSS Gridman is his first like, full TV show directing job. I mean, other than that, he's done um, Inferno Cop, which is also great, and uh, Ninja Slayer, which I have not seen. But then you've got, like, I'm pretty sure the guy who directed um, uh, Irregular, no, what the fuck is it called? The stupid high school light novel one. I'm pretty sure that one was by a, a new director... Um, Darling in the Franks was directed by, wasn't it by the guy who, um, the guy who was the character designer, right, for Idolmaster and, um, and Gurren Lagann, I think. It was a character designer who was working as a director for the first time, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, he's been around for a long time, but he hasn't done directing work like that. And I don't think these are badly directed shows by any stretch. I think that they are, you know, maybe not as good as Imaishi's work, but I wouldn't expect them to be almost, because Imaishi's been doing it a bit longer, and he's got, you know, a lot of credentials under his belt. Trigger has probably not got the throwing around weight that Gainax had in its prime, you know. Um, the money's not flowing the same way that it once was. Which means that they can't, you know, necessarily give all the same resources to every single person who who works on something. I don't know. And also, you know, when it comes to Darling and the Franks, you had A1 Pictures involved. Um, Masaaki Yusa, I think, is, like, the only one who's directed anything at Science Saru, right? I mean, again, this is a case of, like, these are new studios just getting off their feet. Um, you know, they're led by guys who are very well-known guys who have a very particular style. So anybody who's hype about that studio is hype because that person is in charge, and that includes investors. You know, like, they're not going to want to throw their money at a project that they're not going to get the guaranteed quality of that director from. So I think it's going to be a while before those studios, you know, Colorado, I, I don't know much about Colorado's directing, um, but, yeah, again, young studio, hasn't done a whole lot of big projects. So... 
You know, I think that's the case for most of these. They're small, they're new, they're young. They've mostly got, like, the one guy who they've put all their chips on. But they'll expand eventually. I mean, if you look at, like, Kyoto Animation, in the early days, the guy who's, like, the leader of Kyoto Animation had directed most of their work up until the point when you started getting some of the other directors, you know, taking on more jobs here and there. And, uh, you know, now there's, like, three or four major directors from Kyoto Animation who do pretty much everything, um, as opposed to just the one. So, yeah, I think we'll see that expand. I mean, Gridman and Franks were both successful shows, so I'm sure that those directors will get more work going forward, and maybe it'll be better. I mean, for me personally, Imaishi's style is just like, my favorite style, and, like, I think a lot of these are guys who, you know, again, are just, like, some of the greatest titans in the industry, so it's, like, it's always gonna feel like, oh, only the stuff they do is good, because, like, that's true in a more general sense than just from that studio. It's, like, something Imaishi does is not just better than anything Trigger does, it's better than anything anyone does. So, inevitably, we're gonna feel that way. Same with Yuasa or... Um, you know, or um, Miyazaki. So I think it's it's a little unfair almost to hold everything from the studio to the standard of the guy who does the best work there if that guy also does better work than basically everything. You know, I, I, I think it's fair to put Gridman and Franks above most of the anime that comes out. 